Hello, everyone, and welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. So glad to have you with me again today, and as always, I'm just praying that this time together in the Word of God is enhancing your walk with Him. You're learning not only about God, but also uh, the way that He wants us to be in this world, and so that's why we always go to Him in prayer, inviting Him to being among us, uh, since the Holy Spirit is our true teacher in the Word. Pray with me, if you will. Heavenly Father, again, we thank you that you have provided your word so that we can get to know you. We can know your son, Jesus. We can know your ways and the ways that you want us to be in this world. I pray today, Lord, that you will bless us with your Holy Spirit. You will guide us into all truth and empower us to live according to that truth so that we can be pleasing in your eyes. We bless you. We thank you again for your word today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The title to today's lesson is Until the Time That She Travails. It's taken from the book of Micah, chapter 5 and verse 3. Micah the prophet told the people of Israel they should gather in troops and that the judge of Israel would be smitten with a rod upon the cheek. He also told them of the Messiah's birthplace, Bethlehem, who, though it was little among the thousands of Judah, would be the place that he, that is to be the ruler in Israel, would come. In chapter 5 and verse 3 of his prophecy, Micah shares about Israel and how it will be given up until the time that she which travails has brought forth. We read, Therefore will he give them up until the time that she which travails has brought forth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel. The verse begins, Therefore will he give them up until the time that she which travails has brought them forth. Micah began this verse with the word therefore. And as we have learned, whenever we see a therefore in the Bible, it is a conclusion word that we should look at what was just stated before it. In this case, because the Messiah was to be born in Bethlehem and be the ruler in Israel, Micah wrote, will he give them up, which refers to the Lord setting, putting, making, and inflicting the people of Israel over to other nations. They were to be oppressed by these Gentiles until the time or the occurrence and occasion that she which travails, which means bears, brings forth, begets, and genders, has brought forth, or which again means bears, brings forth, begets, and genders. The Hebrew phase our phrase is Hebrew is Nathan Ik Yalad Yalad. And as we notice the word Yalad used twice in a row, we recognize the importance of this special event. The verse continues Then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel. After the birth of this special one who ends the giving up of Israel to other nations, then the remnant, which refers to the remainder, excess, rest, and other part of his brethren or relatives and kin, shall return, which means turn and go back unto the children of Israel or the people of the nation of Israel. In other words, when the timing of the birth of the Messiah is realized, people will be returning to Israel. When the Messiah was born, he was to deliver Israel. However, as we learned in the first verse of this chapter, the Messiah was smitten with a rod on the cheek or cut off. Jesus came in his first advent only to be cut off by those who were in the world. And though their Messiah was among them, the people of Israel did not recognize him as such. Therefore, the Lord gave them up to other nations or Gentiles until the time when their travail shall be so great they will call upon the Lord once again. A remnant shall return to Israel until the time of the Gentiles is ended, and then the Lord shall gather the people of Israel to himself once again. When we take the time to meditate upon these things, we can see how these events uh, are happening before our very eyes. Jesus was cut off and Israel was dispersed to other nations. 
Today, Jewish people are returning to Israel, and this remnant is being regathered. For those who watch closely, the time for the Messiah's return is near. May all who read these words not only hear these sayings, but also realize that they are indeed true and soon to be fulfilled. Next time, Micah shares about one who will stand and feed in the strength of the Lord. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.